Hello, I'm Colin Daly of Campbell Scientific in Logan, Utah. In this video series tutorial, we'll go through the steps to get your Campbell Scientific system up and running. You will get your data logger connected to and communicating with your computer. Write a program for the data logger to read a sensor and record its measurements. Wire the sensor to your data logger. Send the program to the data logger. View real-time measurement values. Collect and view data. I'd encourage you to follow along in your office with your hardware and software. We'll be essentially following the quick start section of the CR6 manual. This tutorial series will get you through the process with other data logger types as well. The following items are used in this exercise. If you do not have all these items, you can provide a suitable substitute. A CR6 data logger, 12 volt power supply. For CR6 users, a simple alternative is to connect the CR6 to the PC using the USB cable provided in the shipping box. USB power is adequate for this exercise, but a power supply will be needed for field deployment. Thermocouple. One of these is shipped with each data logger, or you can use another sensor on hand. Personal computer with an available USB port with the USB driver installed. If you have not yet installed the USB driver, pause this video and follow along with the CR6 driver installation video. USB to micro USB cable, which is shipped with the CR6. Campbell Scientific software such as LoggerNet, PC400, or PC200W. PC200W is available for free on our Campbell Scientific website. I have a PS150, and while we're in the office, it's being trickle charged from AC power. The flashing green light indicates the battery is being charged. The data logger's green power connector is wired to the power supply's 12 volt and ground terminals. Make sure the power switch is flipped to the on position. Alternately, with a CR6, I could provide temporary power just using the USB cable. We'll be using that for communications, so I'll plug it in here. And to my computer here. I already have the drivers installed. Now that we have the hardware set up so that the computer can communicate with the data logger, we'll set up the software using Easy Setup Wizard that's available through LoggerNet, PC400, or PC200W. From the main category of the LoggerNet toolbar, select Setup. This is the easy or simplified setup view. If your screen looks something like this, with more buttons at the top, you are in the standard view. Click this button to the right to toggle to the easy view mode. Click the add button here. If you're using PC400 or PC200W, you'll get to the easy setup wizard by clicking the add button here. And the easy setup wizard opens. This is the LoggerNet view. Following the steps on the screen, we'll set up the communications connection between our computer and data logger. Click Next. Select the type of data logger you will be connecting to. I'm using a CR6 today, so I scroll down and choose the CR6 series. It's a good idea to give it a meaningful name, such as a site identifier or a project name. Next. These are the connection types supported by the Easy Setup Wizard. We'll be connecting our computer to the CR6 with a USB cable. Select Direct Connect and click Next. We already installed the USB drivers, so the COM port shows up as CR6 COM7. Your COM port may have a different number. Baud rate is how fast the computer and data logger can communicate. We'll leave the rest of the setting as their defaults. All data loggers leave the factory with a PAC bus address of 1. If yours has been changed, you will need to enter its address here. We aren't going to be setting up security today. Here's a summary. Let's test our communications now. Success! If you did not connect, check Is your computer cable connected to the data logger? Does the data logger have power? Did you select the correct COM port? What is the data logger's PAC bus address? If your data logger clock has not been set, you can sync it with your computer's clock here. Click Next. If you already have a program written, you can send it here. If not, we'll be using Shortcut to write one. You can skip the last steps and finish the setup now. Here's a summary. If you need to make changes to the setup, you relaunch the wizard by clicking the Edit button. Make a selection from the progress listing along the left side. For example, if you have a program written for your data logger already, you can send it from here. Or, if the data logger is already running a program, you can let LoggerNet sync its information, that is, get the table definitions. 
We're done setting up communications, so we'll move on to our next step, which is writing a program to measure sensors and record data.